<sighs> you know, the more I'm digging around out here in my stuff, the more I realize I don't have I I I didn't have a clue what all I did have, and I'm finding a lot of stuff. Should I be stripping these? Wires. I don't really have nothing that that uh, I seen um, uh, I seen big keg of Fat Bastard's Garage fame. And I think he had a vegetable peeler that he was stripping that with. I might go see if I can round one of them up tomorrow. It looked pretty. Cause this is less what uh, uh, insulated wires running uh, way less than a dollar a pound, and like that it's uh, around right around two dollars a pound. So I. I'll lay that up there for right now, but I'm trying to get there. I've done got everything pulled back out of here. I need I need to get myself organized. And you know something else? I hate to scrap the, this is, uh, this is, you know, for internet cable and stuff. Of course, I can cut these ends off and that can go in my gold burn because there's gold in them things. But there's so much of that stuff that comes in stuff and nobody see there's another one there's another one oh shoot there's some more of that heavy cable I'm definitely stripping that that's a couple of pounds that's about four dollars I'm telling you what's the damn truth. I ain't never seen. I wish I... Nah, I, I keep saying I wish I could do this. Wish I could do that. Fact is... Is there anything in that? Nope. Wish I could do this. Wish I could do that. I am. Is this? That's coax, but that needs to go out there. Gotta be trash. My daughter looked out here. She said, You had all that stuff packed in that little shed, now you got it drug right back out of there. Well, I can't straighten this up with everything piled in here like it is.
I've got and There's my other hat. I got to throw that in the washer. Okay, and there's another laptop down there I'm going about. What is that? Trash. Oh. Plus, I am the world's worst for getting stuff mailed off that I need to send people like Sheila Wilson. I, it's, it's laying in there all packaged up and I just ain't thought about it. Uh, what else is in there? Something else? There's two or three rings in there. Um, Need to get that stuff mailed off. I just need to go ahead, sit down there tonight, and make me a daggone to-do list and do it. Instead of yapping about it, dauber. I'm telling you. I can't stay focused long enough to set a tool laying down there. I'm missing some tools. I'm sure they're in here somewhere. What is that? That's steel. I think that's some, uh, by the way, I've noticed it. Yeah, that's bug spray. I mean, not bug spray, but insect repellent. That socket. Yeah. Okay. 
This is my zinc bucket. That's going to have to have some work. That's going to have to have some work. This is all aluminum. Ah, shoot, I got copper in here. Which is okay. Now, I need to cut the brass off of these. Don't go there. I need to cut those apart. Them brass are steel. Friggin' brass. It's brass. How about this bar?
that's brass too. Give me a break. Now how would you get Cut that off. I said GoPro, stop recording. Jay, go tell Donovan to come here, please. I don't know, if this thing's got a dang mind all of its own anymore and I'm, I'm getting tired of it. I'm getting tired of it. I like my GoPro, but it's, it's temperamental. Sometimes I want to reach up there and smack it. But, made me done forget where I was at. I like to start early. And you would think that I would do that here. I would come, there's lots of stuff I can do in here, even though it's dark out there, I can come in here and do stuff. I need to get back in that habit. I want things like it used to be. Ain't gonna happen, that's for sure. But, 
Dang, don't it? <laughs> uh, I don't know why I'm harping about this. It's crazy, eh? You know, it is what it is. Um, uh, and I need to go to the scrap yard with some stuff. And, uh, I keep thinking I'm going to have a lot more than I think I'm really going to wind up with. But, but the near hunting is, you know, my wife was diabetic. I wasn't, I was healthy as a horse. I wasn't having any medical problems or anything, but when I got, let's see, how old was I when my wife died? Uh, uh, she's been dead now 13 years. Well, it'd be 13 years the, uh, it'll be 13 years this, this December. So, I'm 78, I'm 68, uh, I was 65. No, I wasn't even that. I was older than that when she died. She, cause she was 63. I was 66 when she passed away. And I was diabetic, but nothing bad, you know? I mean, I was working a job. I worked at Walmart for two years before they terminated the dauber. And I still say they terminated me because they thought I might be a little bit smarter than they was. <laughs> uh, I've been in, I have a retail business of mine for 40 years. So I knew a little bit about retail and I knew how, to, I, I had good social skills and all that stuff. But, uh, I, yeah, they, they, they terminated me because, hey, this man's just too smart. I, I just hear that gal saying that. Well, not really. But I, I but that the job I had at Walmart, uh, I put one of them pet up, pet a meter, pet an or whatever you call it, on my pocket to measure how much I was walking on the ship. Seven miles seven miles every day that I worked. And my weight was way down. I felt good. Didn't have a problem physically or, you know, I was just in good shape. And uh, about three or four months, I worked there about three or four more months after my wife passed away before they terminated me. And, uh, and by the way, the, the management that had all that to do with me being terminated, all three of them got terminated. They got busted. They, they got caught with their hand in the cookie jar. I mean, the main store manager, he got busted for it. And the two managers, that didn't like me, they had their hand in the cookie jar too. Maybe that's why they didn't want me around. Figured I was smart enough to figure out what was going on. Uh, but anyhow, I'm working on cutting down on when they're on my or my uh, scabapentin, like you're ointing, um, don't make sense for anybody to buy a new ointment anymore because it's so high when you get the generic for a tenth of the cost. Uh, I'm trying to get myself organized. I'm trying to clean up. Jeez. Uh, 
Let's see, that battery says charge, so that one's coming off and going back on my uh, drill. I need Need this. Wait a minute. Yeah, that needs to come off there. That's my scale. And this. Come on, baby. Now, something else. Let me mention this. See, there's a piece of ferrite in there. Of course, that's heavier than the copper. And I've seen some scrappers, I've never done it. But they take it, a piece of the leave a piece in there and they wrap up a ball around that ferrite where you can't see it. Like so, and that looks like a ball of copper. So actually it's double weight now because you got that piece in there. As much as I don't like the scrap yard people, I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna do that. But I've seen them do it. I, and the guy that showed me that that's what he done on a regular basis. But then, one day it come back to bite him in the butt. They caught him doing it. And they won't buy no scrap from him now. He has to go over to Bellevue to sell his scrap. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. So they got the last laugh on him. There's all kind of tricks of the trade. Some of them's crooked. Some of them just smart, you thinking outside the box. What was that? My phone? And I wish I knew how to work this thing. People think I'm lying when I say I don't I can't figure it out. But folks, I really can't. Sometimes I'll be doing something online and then I'll have to 
they want to send me a code to my phone to text it to me. And I can't even figure out how to find the text. But you know, Don't you folks tune into my live at five this Saturday at five o'clock. I got another guest on there. Some of you may know him. And some of you may not. I know a lot of you do because they subscribe to me through this same family. It's crazy family too. And I've really took a shine to these people. Mainly they help me get a lot of subscribers for one thing, but the main thing is I just like them. They call me Grandpa or Poppy. Um, they, uh, they have an autistic son that goes scrapping with the dad. Now he's got he's adopted. Matter of fact, that whole that whole bunch of kids of theirs is adopted. There, there's three girls and the boy. And uh, And Alan, the one with autism, or it's autistic, he um, he was a special needs adoption. And anytime somebody takes on a special needs child, that says a lot about the people. Character and stuff, I think. All right, there's all of that. Now, 